Hi, my name is Dmitry, and I'm going to talk about serverless and how to accelerate it with snapshots. Serverless is said to be the next dominant cloud architecture where the users can focus on writing their business logic as functions, whereas the cloud providers take complete responsibility of managing the whole infrastructure. Now, since a lot of researchers are interested in serverless, how can we study the real systems? Production serverless settings feature complex distributed software stacks with many proprietary components. Without an access to the proprietary systems, academics often resort to study distinct components rather than complete systems. Also, for example, many academic prototypes rely on outdated technologies like containers that are insufficient for high security so that the serverless leaders have long moved on to using lightweight virtual machines instead. Hence, what is missing today is a complete open source framework for serverless research. We built this framework by integrating the leading open source components from the industry in a single research platform. We call this framework VHive and tailor it to satisfy all possible needs of serverless researchers. VHive is representative of production clouds and includes only open source production grade components. VHive features an ecosystem for serverless benchmarking both end-to-end -end and per component and supports distributed tracing as well. At the high level, VHive architecture is similar to AWS Lambda. For benchmarking, VHive features a number of clients that drive the function and vacation traffic and measure the latency and throughput of the system. VHive employs Knative and Kubernetes for managing and auto-scaling functions in a serverless cluster and Amazon Firecracker MicroVMs that run on trusted function handles atop of the worker hosts. To integrate Kubernetes with Firecracker, we introduced a MicroVM manager component that controls the VM lifecycle via container D and forwards the invocations to the appropriate instances with gRPC. Also, VHive is the first to support VM snapshotting at scale. Using VHive, we studied the cold start problem that remains a great challenge in serverless today. Cold start latency is the time that takes to start a new instance of a function. In production systems, first, the scheduler selects a worker to host the new function instance. Then the worker boots a VM and initializes the function handle inside it, after which the handle is ready to process the invocation. To eliminate the dominant boot initialization fraction, researchers suggested capturing the state of a ready-to-serve VM in a snapshot. Then, when another invocation arrives and the worker is chosen, the hypervisor quickly loads a VM from a snapshot. First, it loads the state of the VM monitor and the emulated devices and rapidly maps the guest memory file into the main memory for lazy paging. Although loading is much faster than booting, we observe that function and execution become slower. Why does that happen? We find that function execution slowdown is majorly due to the long series of page falls to the guest memory pages. Indeed, the guest memory file is mapped but not populated with the data. Our key finding is that during processing different invocations, functions touch the same pages in the guest memory. Hence, a natural solution is to record the pages of each function's working set and prefetch these pages into the memory right upon another invocation arrives. Our record and prefetch solution called REAP snapshots consists of the two phases. First is the record phase, where upon the very first invocation, the system intercepts the page folds and loads the pages into the guest memory on demand, while at the same time capturing these pages as a function working set. After the invocation processing is finished, the captured working set is written back to storage. All invocations after the first one enjoy the expected prefetch phase. First, the entire working set file is read from the storage, then all these pages are installed eagerly into the guest memory that allows to avoid the bulk of the page folds, except for the rare accesses to the pages outside of the working set that are still retrieved from the storage on demand. This way, REAP snapshots accelerate all the cold starts after the first invocation at the cost of a little extra storage. REAP snapshots reduce the cold start delays by almost four times on average by eliminating most of the page faults. The mechanisms behind REAP require little modifications of the existing software that should facilitate REAP adoption in production. I encourage you all to join the growing VHive open source community and let's make serverless systems better together.